So in the 1.23 update, they went ahead and rebalanced a few different weapons, most noticeably the Growl, and a lot of people thinking, hey, you know what, it just feels exactly the same, and to a certain extent, it will feel that way, especially in multiplayer, but when it comes to Warzone, it got a significant nerf. So in addition to talking about that, we're going to talk about what is the best low recoil rifle currently within Warzone, so that means we're talking about the M13, the Kilo, and the Growl. So what you can expect from the videos, we're going to talk about the recoil patterns, the damage changes, and then I'll leave you off some gameplay with one of these individual weapons. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video or learn something new. If you do, please do me a favor of hitting the like button. Go on today's video is 2,500 likes. And if you're brand new and want to find your way back for more Call of Duty content, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. And then if you want to find people to play with, join the community discord, which is one of the top links down in the description. People partying up on a regular basis and getting their first win or multiple wins if they've been kind of struggling. Let's get into the breakdown. So here is the recoil patterns for the Kilo, the M13 and the Growl with their individual class setup. These class setups are pretty much taken directly from my top 10 loadouts in Warzone. The only little minor change here that I did is on the Growl, instead of having that tack laser because some people are struggling with the recoil, I put on that rubberized grip primarily for comparison sake so this first one on the left we have the kilo you can see the recoil kind of just shoots up a little bit and kind of goes diagonal and this is a low recoil weapon this is probably the lowest recoil weapon in the entire game um, but you do have a little bit of a penalty if you're running this particular class setup you're going to have an aim down sight time of 344 milliseconds uh, and that is slowed down by some of the various attachments but Obviously, you could always stack this with an SMG, which is what most people typically do, whether that's the MP5, MP7, Fennec, or, or whatever else they're trying to experiment with. And as you can see with the M13, it has this opposite recoil pattern. This is more of what we're accustomed to when we're controlling recoil within Modern Warfare. Like 90% of the weapons go up and then to the right. Um, I know M4 is a very popular one. It goes up a little bit higher and then it goes diagonal a little bit higher as well. Uh, but overall, we get this similar recoil pattern. You can see this one's slightly faster, 323 milliseconds, um, and that's 85 milliseconds slower. Obviously, you can swap something out, but with these, the iron sights just aren't as clean as the growl so most people are tending to run with that three times optics or the candid hybrid keeping in mind that if you run the candid hybrid it is significantly slower than the vlk which is significantly slower than just running iron sights so it's just one of those trade-offs that you got to get used to when it comes to the growl uh, we have the different recoil pattern here it kind of just goes vertical it has this little bit of a curve to the left before it goes up for the most part, it gives a little bit of side to side balance, but nothing unmanageable. And this one ends up being the slower one, um, especially without that attack laser. It brings up the uh, aim down sight time to 331 milliseconds, uh, which is 92 milliseconds slower than its base aim down sight time. So overall, those are those. We have 60 round mag pretty much on all of these. Commando foregrip, VOK on these two, rubberized grip on the right and then the longest barrel and that's pretty much how that works monolithic suppressor pretty straightforward class setups this is the majority of what people are to use obviously if you want to kind of fine tune it fit your individual needs and preferences go ahead and do that because there isn't technically a one size fits all best class setup for all scenarios so you can always mix and match to make it fit your own when it comes to the side to side comparison you can see that the kilo has the least amount of recoil um, even though the growl has the most recoil as far as magnitude, it, it has one of the easiest recoil patterns to control. And that's why a lot of people kind of gravitated towards it, just because basically all you got to pull down to, to counteract that recoil versus with the kilo, you kind of got to pull down and then slightly to the right. If you're talking about the M13, you kind of just got to pull down and slightly to the left. Um, but obviously the more time you spend with the weapon, you kind of get used to it. Now that that is one part of the equation, overall, I think Kilo can be an absolute beam. Um, Grau is great. All these are low recoil weapons, so you really can't go wrong. You just got to kind of understand how you should be firing these weapons. Let's go ahead and talk about the damage comparison. So right here, these are the low recoil TTKs versus distance. So this is only for the Grau Kilo M13. Time to kill on the left in milliseconds, distance in the bottom on meters. Um, and right here, we had an issue where the Grau was pretty good and it was probably the best rifle in this overall range right next to the kilo it was a lot closer um they actually changed the damage profile which added an extra shot to kill pretty much within this range of the growl so it went from 800 milliseconds here which is this line and then it bumped up to 880 and that change was significant because now it made it so that it is not even top tier 
um, at 45 meter range. It kind of has that drop off with a lot of the rifles kind of drop off around that first drop off range. Um, you can see the long shot range right here. Um, they're all fairly close here. Kilo ends up dominating in my opinion i think as you go up here you can see that kilo ends up being the best rifle all the way up to about 82 and a half meters and then it ends up being the m13 um but the growl doesn't get any love it's never the best rifle so i think they took a, the best balancing approach because it has the easiest recoil to control um for the average person i think the other ones as long as you understand the recoil pattern they're fairly easy as well but as you can see the kilo kind of comes out the top dog um but even then if you stack this with an like a, an mp7 for example you might want to do an m13 or some kind of combination of that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with a stream highlight over on Twitch. If you wanna go ahead and check out a live stream, make sure you check out the link in the description. Um, this is pretty much some M13 gameplay with the foul, using it primarily as an SMG, so you're gonna kinda see how that dynamic works. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, learned something new. If you did, please do me a favor, hitting the like button. If you're brand new, wanna find your way back for more Call of Duty content, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Where'd he go? We got people oh, down there. The is. Right here. I'm coming through. There's two there, Jay. I'm coming around. One down, two down. He's right here on the edge. Destroyed him. Nice one. Is there anybody else? Yeah, 46 meters uh, west, west, west. Look. Okay. Go right here. Okay, Done. Map. Is that leaded? No, not up top. Oh, he's right here! <laughs> one more. Hope you got him. I killed one. Nice. I'm not picking up any now. There's still one out here, no? Or is that a dead... Oh, oh, no, no, it's a dummy. Decoy. Dummy need? That's a decoy. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, nice. Just yeah, we'll hopefully people aren't buying them. Yo, uh, buy UAV if you haven't already got one. I got, I got one. one. Uh, easy call right, one awesome. in and then buy a new one since you got the most money. Friendly UAV overhead. Oh, 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 they're close. Oh, go, airport. There's a guy right here. To the right, go to the and right. there's people gliding in. Yeah, there's so many people here at the buy station. He just bought got, a, their loadouts, loadout. I think. Two down. There we go. Is it a team up? No. Nope, there's more. One more. Where'd he go? He was up on top. I got him. On top. I think uh, one's coming for me. Oh, nobody. Oh, nice. You got him. Ooh, logs, huh? Okay, map. Foul. Wow, there's so many people at that house. Kind of weird. You guys good or what's going on here? Nice. There's people in the house next to us? Yeah, on the next house. They're, they're down too. Oh, that's a dummy nade. Oh, right here. Yep. I saw him last second. Oh, easy. I've got you. He got eliminated by that guy in the car. Hey, Matt. I blew up the car. <laughs> I still have a UAV. We want to go yeah. after anybody else. Yep. Recon on my position. Yep, there's a full Next team of four in this oh, house okay. right here. Everywhere. Solid cover mine. Oh, if only we had a cluster or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They are looking on the ride. Be advised, UAV is being fuel. RTB for resupply. Broke his armor up Team top. Bye. Nice. Team what? Was that two yep. teams then? 
Yeah, I guess so. Whoa, 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 on the other roof. Wait, dude, in every second roof is someone. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Down to nice. That. The loadouts and stuff. Wow. Is he out in the open or what's going on here? Yeah, he's running towards me. He's down. Wait, did he? Did you do that? Okay, nice. I downed him. Right. Come on. Right. Came up. Thank you. Nice. I've been downstairs. He's gonna. You sure you're not seeing things? No, no, no. He was in the car. Yeah, the car. He was in the car. Yeah. The weird rotations. He's inside the building. He's inside. Yeah. He just went up top. Nice. He's down. We got another team. Another team right here. Yeah, On oh, me in either. this building. In this building. One dead. No. No fucking way, dude. What was that? One more, one more, one more. Deleted. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, I only need to okay. land one bullet there. What the oh, hell are these guys cool doing? Where that did they was come a from? Did they, absolute did they get out of a Maybe they got out of a heli. Are they gonna try and come up? Anyone for the UAV? Nope. Oh, there they go. They're running. I got two down. Oh, wow. what the hell is that? Grenade launcher? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I just want to keep that. Holy shit. Um, Connor, drop me 500. Huh? Drop me 500. Oh. No, no, money. Thank you. Uh, guys, I need ammo. Damn it, if I had the foul out! Automatically tried to tag him in accident. I wasn't expecting him. At all. I just went to go open the thing and that was it. This is terrible. Okay, well, GG's to you guys. You guys got this. Can we make it to that buy, dude? Uh, this is... That's scary. Yeah, that we, got the, we got the zone right here. I don't know if you should do that. Yeah, they, they gotta rotate towards you. I wouldn't waste... Ooh. <laughs> You have a precision you too? <laughs> I didn't mean for you to challenge, Colin. Just the two of us. Yep. I That's like a good power that. position yeah. anyways. So there's three teams, nine players. And they have to rotate towards you on this right side, at least. What the? I cannot, I cannot mount my weapon here. Broken headline. Nice. One down. One down. Two down. Nice. I cannot see them anymore. GG's. Yep. Well, last one on that team is over there. Two Don't teams, crack. six players. There were two guys, there were two guys. Oh, they mu one must have just rested on that side. I'm gonna go I'll show right now. Uh... Crack one. I cannot see him, dude. One down. 2v2. They all down, dude. GG's. There, where's the last one? Is he behind the... Dead. There it is, GG's. See, you made up for it. You came back hard on that. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, laser beam. It melts so damn quick. Even the MP7 at that range, that is an AR range, and the MP7 just shreds. GG's.